Hi, it's Jeff Cable, and I am standing here today in front of a 16 millimeter lens on the very edge of the frame here. It is really unflattering. And when you have a body like this, sorry, it's just what you get. Now, for portraits, you would never do this because again, you really want to be dead center. It's much better to be on the center of a wide angle lens than on the edge. The other challenge of using a wide angle lens, I'm using the Canon 16 to 35 millimeter lens right now. When using a wide lens like that and you're photographing architecture, it creates distortion. And I wanna show you how to easily correct that in Photoshop. So let's take a look. So here's some recent images that we took in Cuba and I wanna show you how perspective warp can really help an image. Let's take this one here of the Capitol building, open it up inside of Adobe Camera Raw. Everything looks good there. Let's go ahead and go into Photoshop. Now, let's go ahead and use the perspective warp tool. You'll see we have a little bit of vignetting here. You'll notice that the edges of my building on the left side are definitely distorted, and a little bit is true on the right side here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into perspective warp. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of draw out the entire frame and then hit return. And when I do that, what it's going to do is allow me to now move these pinpoints. So watch what happens to the left side of the building when I kind of pull it off to the left here. See how it's now straighter? But now my uh, top of my building is leaning to the left. Now we're going to pull the right side of the frame. And what I do is I look at the lines right here to try to get those nice and straight. So by pulling the right side and the left side, I'm going to go a little bit more on this left side to get that uh, this line here straighter. And I'll go a little bit more on the right to get that straighter as well. I hit return and look at the difference that it made. I'm going to go before, after. See that? Before, after. So a lot of people would look at that original image and they'd say it looks great. But when you see the before and after, you see how much better it looks when you fix the distortion. This is another way of taking a good image and making it better. And I promise you, this is the last time I'll be shooting video with me in front of a wide lens. <laughs>